Good morning, fifth grade. Yesterday we looked at Roanoke, which is also known as the last or the lost colony, and it was also the first colony that was in um, the Americas when the English came over. Today we're going to be looking at Jamestown Colony. In 1606, England was ruled by King James the First. The English people did not choose him as their leader because England was a monarchy. It's a form of government in which the ruler is a king or queen. So it's not like how we choose a president, we vote. Um, this is just a monarchy, so whoever's born next, that's the next king or queen. During this time, King James I gave a group of wealthy men permission to start a colony in North America. This, or the group sent 105 men to settle in Virginia. They hoped a colony would make them richer. So they went over there to start the colony in hopes of becoming rich. The settlers arrived in Virginia in May 1607, hoping to find gold. They chose a place near a river where the deep water allowed them to anchor their ships close by. The site was up river from Chesapeake Bay, but far enough from the river that Spanish ships could not easily attack the settlement. Located on a peninsula, and remember peninsula is like Florida where it's surrounded by land on three sides, the town could be easily defended by land. This, or the group built a settlement enclosed by the walls of a fort and named it Jamestown in honor of King James I. So they're thinking a little bit better than those men in Roanoke. They built these men. They built a settlement. They had walls. They were ready to defend themselves. But unfortunately, the settlers built Jamestown on a marsh. The water around the town was dirty and salty, and the land was bad for farming. Worse still... Mosquitoes in the marsh carried a deadly disease called malaria. By the end of 1607, disease and other hardships had killed many of the settlers. In late 1607, some American Indians captured a Jamestown settler named Captain John Smith. They took Smith to their chief, Powhatan. According to the story, Smith later told, the chief was about to kill him when Powhatan's young daughter, Pocahontas, saved his life. Many historians, however, think that Smith's life was never in real danger. So this paragraph right here might remind you of a Disney movie you might have seen of Pocahontas, and that could be based off some true facts. But even in this story, we don't know the true story of what happened, um, because it's, it's, historians don't think that Captain John Smith was ever really in danger. After this incident, Pocahontas visited Jamestown several times. She and her people brought food to trade to their surviving colonists. So, one of the people who were living in Jamestown. Um, so, because of this, the people of Jamestown were able to survive because they met those people. In January 1608, more men arrived from England. Many had come only to seek gold, so there were not enough people growing the food needed to feed the colony. In September, John Smith became the leader of the colony. He knew that the settlement needed, settlement needed everyone's help to survive, he said that any man who would not work to maintain Jamestown would not eat. Smith's leadership helped save the colony. In the summer of 1609, a new group of settlers arrived, including women and children. The next month, Smith returned to England after having been badly burned by an explosion of gunpowder. The colonists had lost a strong leader. To make matters worse, Powhatan stopped trading with them. Local t tribes attacked the people they found outside the settlement. 
The winter of 1609 to 1610 was known as the starving time. Many settlers had to eat horses and dogs, and hundreds of people died. Only about 60 settlers survived in Jamestown. And the starving time is one that we'll actually be reading about next week. Um, and more information about that will come through next week. The Jamestown settlers never found gold. Therefore, they needed another way to support their colony. Colonist John Rolfe learned how to grow a new t kind of tobacco. The settlers planted this cash crop. And remember, cash crop is something that um, they're going to be able to make money from either by selling it or trading it. In 1614, they began to trade their tobacco for money and supplies. People in England loved it. Tobacco became Virginia's gold. Um, and by that, it just means that gold is obviously going to make people money. And tobacco is actually the thing that people came over looking for, not gold. Meanwhile, Powhatan's people worried about so many settlers coming to their land. In 1614, John Rolfe married Pocahontas. For a time, the colonists and the American Indians were at peace. Pocahontas even went to England and met King James. Before she could return, she got sick, and then in 1617, she died. Meanwhile, Jamestown was growing and changing. In 1619, the men elected representatives to make laws for the colony. This was the first representative government, and a representative government is where the citizens elect the leaders to make decisions on their behalf. Um, so that's something like what we have in the United States States, where we um, elect people to be in office. So the people chose their leaders in this government, and they called this governing body the House of Burgesses. Burgess is an English word for an elected representative. Only landowners could have this job, but now Virginia's government was more democratic than England. And what we have in the United States is a democratic government. It's a form of government in which the people have the power to rule themselves through elected people. So we elect people to help rule us. We don't have like a king or a dictator. When Powhatan died, his brother became chief, and the peace between the American Indians and the settlers ended. In 1622, the new chief and his men attacked Jamestown and killed 347 colonists. But Jamestown survived to become the first successful English settlement in North America. So now we've got Roanoke that was the first settlement, but then this one was the first successful settlement. All right, our checks for understanding, select three problems the Jamestown colonists faced. The soil was bad for farming and there were lots of mosquitoes that carried malaria. We definitely read about that problem. An American Indian attacked and killed 347 people. I see that right here. It was Powhatan's brother. The colony never produced anything of value, so it was always poor. I know that they actually produced tobacco, so that one is not true. And then the last one, Jan John Smith was injured and had to return to England. I know that that one is also true. Let's just check our answers. Absolutely. All right, so now we are going to jump into our worksheet. So if you have it, you can pull it out. Um, it says Section 2, Jamestown Colony, and it's going to look just like yesterday's, where we've got the six different places or six different senses and then the word bank on the bottom. Um, so the first ones we can talk about is maybe we can do the marsh. Um, so the marsh is something that they the people struggled to use because there was mosquitoes, 
there was um, bad land for farming and it also could have smelled um, so there's a lot of different things with that one um, we could also so the marsh one might be a good one um, if we're talking about mosquitoes I always think of that as a feeling feeling really itchy so I could we could say I felt the itch of the mosquitoes from the marsh. And remember to underline your vocabulary word so that I can look at it really easily, know you used it, and then you can cross it off your list. All right, and then we've got two people, Captain John Smith and Pocahontas. Um, you can use those a couple different ways. I'm going to skip over those ones, and I'm going to go to the I-8 and use that with starving time. Um, something that I can't even possibly think of doing, um, but the people had no other option was what they ate during the starving time. Um, so it says, many settlers had to eat horses and dogs, which I can't imagine doing. Um, so we can write, write, I ate horses and dogs to survive during the starving time. All right, so then I'm going to cross that one off. Um, another one we could maybe do is um, the smell of tobacco. So that would be like what's in um, like smoking, different smoking things, whether that be a pipe or like cigarettes. Um, and that's got a very strong scent. So that's, we could use that in I smelled the tobacco and they were growing the tobacco so I smelled the tobacco as it was being grown All right, and then we've got three more. Um, so with Captain John Smith, I remember that his hand got burned with gunfire or by a gunpowder explosion. So I'd probably put Captain John Smith. I want you to write a sentence with my hands, I, and then use the Captain John Smith one there. And then we know Pocahontas was part of it, and the House of Burgesses was the um, elected officials that they came up with, um, They and they came up with the rules. So maybe about listening to the rules that the House of Burgesses came up with, and just come up with a sentence there. And then this last one I watched, we can use that one with Pocahontas. Um, we can even say, so Pocahontas went back to England and met King James. So we can even say, I watched um, something about King James. You can also write a couple different things as far as uh, Pocahontas was, her father was Powhatan, um, so maybe I watched Powhatan, or my father, almost kill John Smith until I saved him, so we can do that one. So I watched
And we'll put that in quotes, so it'll be like, um, Pocahontas said that. All right, you guys, ooh, I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting to go back. So we'll put that into quotes. So I watched my dad almost kill John Smith until I saved him, said by Pocahontas. And then what I want you to do is do this one with Captain John Smith and do this one with the House of Burgesses. And then you are going to be all set to go for Section 2.